Yep, it's quite unusual, but then on a Monday morning, it's always good to ginger yourself. You know, I saw this quote, if you want to give up, see, it's not every time. Sometimes just give up, but hey, come on, we're not giving up on you, and I know you're not giving up on us this morning. We have Taiwo Olajide Dano. Now he's better known as Jaido P. He's had a remarkable journey thus far growing up. He's expressed his penchant for music by developing his musical prowess, of course, his songwriting skills, to become one of the blueprints of a new generation of Afro-pop artists in Nigeria. As a recording artist who favors a crisp, street-inspired and pop-oriented Afrobeats with a light fusion of alternative music, all day, as a number of people might know it. It's great to have you, Jaido P. You are welcome. Even the Vix himself, too, too fresh. There's just too much freshness about this video. So we're talking about the story and all of that. So yeah. Yeah, so um really we finished recording the song. You know, but I don't brought the idea of just, you know, making it a very sensual video mm. and you know, cool and calm. I like it. Nothing much. So that was how we came up with the idea. You know, for the video. I, I, maybe maybe you, you can also be um this is something that can uh you know the, you, you can also be given credit for this because Bado's style has changed a bit. I don't know whether it's because of the kind of people uh, someone like you who you know has come into the label, he's now cool, calm, you know, there's that feeling. The, the latest album had a yeah. what influence do you think or what made you become a part of YBNL and what influence do you think you've had on him as an artist? Hmm. Actually, I don't really think, because Badu is, is a person that, you know, I, I just feel like he's a spirit man. He mm. does whatever he wants to do, you know. So I don't really think there's anyone influencing him. I feel at this moment, he's another kind of Badu. Like, I call him the Badu 2.0, like okay. 2 .4. So it just felt like he needs to do something else. He needs to preach another part of himself to people. Mm. And that's what he's doing. Then the day we wanted to record the song, the, the song, I got to his house and started talking about life generally. Okay. So that was how we got into the Before you even song. started, you already yeah. had to feel like what you were doing and all of that. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, but let's talk about your journey into YBNL. How did it? How, how did it all happen? Yeah. Currently, a lot of people think I'm a, like I'm a YBNL artist. Okay. To be honest, I'm not. Okay. I'm just a very close. I'm just a very close person oh, okay. to my dude. It's like okay, a just a part of the family in some yeah. way. Yeah, part of the family. Okay. So, All right, it. now, is this, you know, uh, like you mentioned about him, people tend to, you know, it gets to a point about, okay, I want to do music that is accepted, and then with time, I get to show who the real me is. Yeah. Is this Jaido P? What we're seeing now, will this always be Jaido P? Is there any chance for, uh, you know, maybe a modification or some sort of evolution of Jaido P? Mm, well, uh, like the way I make music, I don't make it thinking about what people feel. Okay. First off, because I think that's the beginning of every artist's downfall. Like when you start thinking of, I want people to dance, I want people but to do, feel but, like but, this. But, but that's what some people call um, commercialization. Like you, you, you need to feel the pulse of what people want and give them a bit of what they want. Yeah, so people like would before recording, otherwise. before recording, I check out a lot of these things and okay. you work on yourself. I think that's the part you have to, you know study the whole commercialization thing. Mm. So whenever I get to the studio, it's already parts of my own thing, like, comes from my instinct. Like, I don't have to put it in my mind that I want to mm. commercialize this song. Mm. That's something I have to be very cautious of, okay? Oh. So, um, it's, not, it's not that deep. It's not I that, just oh, go I to the you. studio and do my thing. Okay. Sometimes, I, I recorded the song with Bado last, last year, that was testing our parts. Okay. It's not what was the way I felt. You felt that point, and it, it was a hit. Sure, All right. So let's just just looking forward. What should people expect from Jaido P? What should the fans look out for? Um, I have a project coming out soon, like later this month okay. or very early next month. Okay. So it's gonna be like um, a body of work, compilation of songs. Okay. Maybe ten or eleven. I don't know yet. Wonderful. So let's Wonderful. See. Wonderful. Your shirt says looks like Lagos. Well, that's the yeah. idea. He's in Lagos, making Lagos tick, and, you know, we're feeling him. Uh, let's take this fact fine, and then, of course, we'll get to feel Jido P after this a little bit more. 